Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is my Coachella slash festival inspired makeup look. Um, how I came about with this look was I came across a picture that I found on Instagram that, um, and also a picture that was on Mitchell's Instagram. Now if you don't follow Mitchell, you need to. He is insane. He does all these beautiful colour, full glam looks and that is what I took this inspiration from. So if you want to find out how I got this look, then keep on watching. So to start off, I'm going in with the P. Louise base. So I'm just going to start carving out my brows and putting this all over the lid. So now that that's set, I'm just taking a Inglot eyeshadow. So one here, 397. And I'm going to take that on a powder and pipe P310 brush. So guys, it looks really, really messy at the minute, but please trust the process, it will be flow. I'm going in with Cosette Infrared, and I'm just going to use that shadow to blend out the edges of the purple. Okay, now that we've finished with the pink, we're going to go back in with the purple just to deepen up the crease again. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go in with the Zoeva 144 brush again and we're going to start carving out the crease using the Pilates base. And now that we've carved out the crease, we're going to go back in with the purple and blend the edges. Now I'm going to go in with Sugar Pill Butter Cupcake. So the next colour I'm going to take is Blade and it's another one by Cosette and it's just a really, really bright green. We're just going to apply the Blade all over the centre of the lid. To soften the edges of the green, you're going to go back in with purple and then once again back in with your yellow just to blend it all together. So now that we've finished all of the eyeshadow, we're going to go in with 77 Gel Liner from Inglot, which is a black gel liner. And we're mixing that with Duraline from Inglot. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go in with number 11 Aqua Stick by Inglot, and it's just like a gold liquid eyeshadow. 
We're putting that out on a little spatula. And we're taking a really fine detailed liner brush. And we're going to start to outline that crease. At this point, you don't want to breathe. So now that we've outlined the crease, we're going to take a tiny little drop of that gold and just disperse it on the inner corner. So I've just went ahead and applied mascara before I start to put on my lashes. And the lashes that I'm using today are the Sosumi Paris Lashes. So I have just applied um, some glue to the lashes and whilst I'm waiting for the glue to dry I'm going to go in with a gel liner on my water line and the gel liner that I'm using is number 87 by Inglot. Just this beautiful blue colour and I'm going to apply that directly to my water line. So now we have our lashes on I'm going to go under my eye with a beauty blender and I'm going to use the new Revolution concealer. If you haven't tried this, my god, it is insane. It's only four pounds and I used to use, which you would have seen in my last video, I used to use the Collection 2000 concealer and now, like, I don't know where it has been all my life, but it is amazing. And the shade that I'm using is C1. And now that we've done that, we are going to start putting the shadow that we applied on top of the eye, under the eye. And once we've done that, we're going to go back in with the pink shade and soften the edges of the purple. So now that I have finished my eyes, I'm going to go ahead and apply my base and then I will see you when I come back. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills and the Amrezy highlighter. Now you've probably seen it one million bazillion times already on the internet, but I just wanted to show you if you haven't. Look. I want to bathe in this stuff. If it came out in liquid form, I would bathe in it. Now that I have done that, I have completely finished my face. I'm going to apply the jewels. This little face gel is from eBay. Now, I don't know the seller. Um, if I can, I will try and find the link and I will post it underneath for you because I bought it weeks ago and I can't remember who it was that I got it off. Um, but I think it was only $1.99 or £2, something like that anyway. Um, so I was like, of course I have to try. So there we have it guys, the finished look. I really, really hope that you enjoyed this. Um, if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I will leave all the product details below. And if there's anything else that you wanna know, just comment under and I will be sure to get back to you.